Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode here of Ark Survival Evolved coming at you from the island. I really do appreciate all of the wonderful support in the form of the likes and the subscriptions and all that good stuff lately. Thank you so much. Today, my friends, we're going to be heading underwater. That is right, we're going to do ourselves an ocean adventure. And what I am hoping to come out with by the end of today's episode is a basilosaur. Okay, we get ourselves a basilosaur and we can go ahead and start exploring some of the underwater caves that exist around the island. Okay, so if that is the sort of thing you guys like to watch, then do be sure to continue to support the series by dropping a like beneath the video. I'd very much appreciate it. Of course, though, if you want to go on further with the support, use code Python when ordering any sneak energy drinks or at the time of this video being made and up until the 23rd of October 2022, there is actually triple discount going on over at Apex Gaming PC. So if you guys are in the market for a new gaming PC, use code Python on any of the PCs from my range to get a whopping 15% off. The biggest discount I have ever had the privilege of providing to you guys. Throughout the entire time, I have been a partner with Apex Gaming PC. So yeah, if you want a PC, you know where to go. So then, if we're going to go underwater exploring, it goes without saying, we're going to be needing our scuba armor back out. And it looks like we need to repair our scuba tank here. We need metal, hide, and fiber. Okay, uh, there's one bit of uh, armor missing, though. Uh, so obviously, we've got that. Uh, right, armor zero. Trike bone helmet. Oh, this is it, actually. This is the helmet. Huh. That is a downside to having skins on any pieces of armor. It actually replaces the name entirely to the point where you can't tell what the armor piece actually is. So, yeah, that does say connects to a scuba tank. I know that it's a helmet because that is the only kind of armor that you could put these here helmet skins on. A helmet, it makes sense. So, uh, yeah. Hmm. Maybe that's a change they could be making to this game at some point, eh? Anyways, for now, let's go on over to our fabricator. And what we are going to do is we're going to put this organic polymer in. And we are going to repair the scuba tank. And we're actually going to make ourselves a second scuba tank just so that we have ourselves a bit of a backup. Having a backup is always a good idea when it comes to underwater exploring. Because if you get caught short with oxygen supply on one, you can just switch on over. To another one. So, there we have it, my friends. Two scuba tanks and our full set of scuba armor. When was the last time we used our scuba armor? I'm thinking when we got Melvin the Megalodon. And by the way, there he is. Melvin the Megalodon. Man, it has been a while since I've ridden this guy. So, unfortunately, long neck rifles do not function underwater. So, that means we're having to downgrade back down to our crossbow with trank arrows. Okay, these bad boys, they do work underwater. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be having to use, eh? So, do we have everything we need? I do believe we do. Maybe we could do with a bit of a top up of food. So, if I was to just pop into my little preserving bin here, grab myself a little little bit more meat. Yep, we've got water, we've got our GPS, we've got all sorts of stuff. We've got ourselves a cryopod as well. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. We need ourselves a basilo saddle as well. So, I do believe basilo saddles require metal ingots. So... Let's make ourselves one. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any Basilo saddles already of a higher armor value, nor do I have any blueprints, unfortunately. So we're just going to have to sort of stick with what we've got. Uh, right. I do believe we are fully prepared to do this. But before we do anything, my friends, I do want to do the comment of the day. So in case I get caught short out in the waters, we won't be going without the comment of the day, eh? So we've got Rex Rider 25 who says this. You can put wood in the industrial form forge to make charcoal faster than the normal forges. Now, if that winds up being the case, then I have most definitely learned something new today, and I'm going to be very, very happy about it, alright? So let's get on over to our industrial forge here, get ourselves just a wee little supply of wood, and then we chuck it all in here, and uh, see what happens. Oh, okay. Hey! That is quick. That is pretty quick, isn't it, my friends? <laughs> oh, can you imagine if we have multiple industrial forges producing charcoal at this rate? Man, that is good. That is good, though, isn't it? All right, so while we're away, I feel like it would be in our best interest, since we're going to be wanting charcoal for ammo for our gun. Uh, yeah, we'll probably go ahead and just put a whole bunch of wood in there, right? 
And then we can get on with our exploring while this is making charcoal galore. So yeah, thank you so much for going ahead and letting me know about that. You know what they say, you learn something new every day. And I tell you what, we most certainly have today. I didn't know that you could do that. And now I do. And that's thanks to you guys. All right. So let's go ahead and get Melvin out. Not underwater. What are you talking about? There we are. You are indeed underwater now there, Sonny Jimbo. Megalodon has a level up and eight levels up as well eight eight levels up good sweet gosh man that is good all right i'm thinking buffing up health to about 7500 that's a pretty good idea and then go for a bit of damage as well is also a good idea uh what also might be a good idea is if we were to try to regen our health just a little bit here we are most definitely in need of health so, uh, yeah, let's go fight our own kind. 258 damage versus um, not a lot that he was doing to me. <laughs> uh, oh, dear. Uh, right, the health regen rate with the raw fish meat is actually incredibly low. We seem to only be getting one to one and a half units of health per bit of raw fish meat. That is poor, isn't it? I'm honestly going to be spending half the lifetime of the universe just going ahead and regening my Megalodon. Hey! Son of a gun, man! Who the hell do you think you are going ahead and nicking my fish meat? Just unbelievable behavior. Does this guy regen faster from normal raw meat? I have a feeling they might, you know? I have a feeling they might. But, where do you get regular raw meat from underwater? That is the question. I'm pretty sure that there might be one or two creatures underwater that will go ahead and give you regular raw meat as opposed to fish meat. But, oh, I don't know. Oh, Ixize apparently dropped regular raw meat. And yeah, I am right. Regular raw meat does indeed regen a Megalodon's health quicker than that of the raw fish meat. Ah, I mean, it will still regenerate from raw fish meat, just nowhere near as much or as efficiently as regular raw meat. So, basically, if we need to get ourselves a bit of a top-up of raw meat, we go ahead and kill the little dolphin ichthy dudes, and we'll be alright. Alrighty, my friends, so time for the adventure to truly begin. We're gonna go nice and deep down here, my friends, and what I'm hoping for is that I will find a pack of ichthys following a basilosaur book because that is typically how you spot them. Is that actually a cave entrance? I can't tell. No, it's not a cave entrance. Wait, is it a cave entrance? Oh, God, it is. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I believe this is a cave entrance. I don't know if this is one of the cave entrances for the Megapithecus boss, though, is the only thing. I, I just don't know. <laughs> it is so, so rare that I go to underwater caves. This may only be, what, my second, maybe third out of stretch. Third time I've ever been in an underwater cave. Do I really want to be doing this with just my Megalodon? Do you know what? I'm going to go with the answer of no, because a lot of you guys were saying that using a Basilosaur in these caves is a way safer way of doing things. What is that? That's an anglerfish, isn't it? Hey, buddy! 264 damage. What a friggin' embarrassment you are. Get out of here, son. There we are. Get wrecked. Hey! Angler gel! Man, that is something I have not seen in a fair while. A thick, viscous substance that can sustain a flame for a remarkably long duration. So that, to me, says that it is a fuel. We'll have to see how efficient a fuel it is. I mean, if it isn't a fuel, then I'm just being an absolute doofus by telling you guys it is a fuel, when it might not be. I just don't know. But yeah, look at that. There's actually another one of these guys. And you know what? I'm going to go kick its butt. There's a Basilosaur ahead. Wait, is that a Basilosaur or is it a Dunkleo? I can't quite tell at this distance. Give me your Angler Gel. Right, what are you? You are a Dunkleo, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Only level 25. Uh -huh. Ah, hey, hey, who goes? Oh, that guy goes there. Well, the good news is, at least we know where a cave entrance is. In fact, for future reference, I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring it up here. So 53.6 and 10 on the dot. Holy crap. That's one of those giant octopus Tuso dudes, right? Wait, where is he? It is. It's level 125. Oh! Oh! That is not good. Do I... Is a Tuso something I want to try to tame? 
Oh god, man, that is enormous. What the hell? Like, seriously, what the hell? It is absolutely bloody enormous. I mean, just how hard a task is it to actually tame a Tuso? I, I genuinely don't know. I've never gone for one before. So according to the wiki, Tusos are a passive tame. And black pearls are apparently their preferred food. And that these guys will go ahead and consume items in stacks as opposed to per item. That sounds pretty bad, my dude. That does sound pretty bad. But equally, I kind of want to try and tame one. I don't know how I will be able to not have one be aggro towards me, if I'm honest. Um, like, genuinely, I have no idea. Right. Yeah. Come on, give me the fish meats. There we are, that's what I'm looking for. All the fish meats now belong to me. Maybe just a little bit more. Holy crap, I just got a level 145 freaking Megalodon. Oh, that's not cool, is it? All right, we've got ourselves a few levels up here. We'll go ahead and uh, dump the fish here. There we have it. Oh, you did take a little bit of damage there, buddy. Uh, right, uh, back to the Tuso? Uh, apparently trying to lure a Tuso up to the surface, or roughly thereabouts, is probably the safest way to try and do this thing. I've got absolutely no idea. Right, okay, so there it is. I don't know what its aggro range is, nor do I know how quick these guys are. Right, so that guy seems to be doing a bit of an inking. Uh, right. Oh, I'm so scared. I feel, I feel like I'm just flat out going to die here. Oh, God. Right. I don't know how to do this. I don't know if these guys are, like, massively... Oh! Okay. Okay, I do believe he's actually following me now. Holy crap. Oh, that is terrifying. That is literal nightmare fuel, guys. Oh. <laughs> it's literal nightmare fuel. I don't want to get on the wrong side of this, dude. Right, okay. I really am just trying to study up on the wiki here because I feel like I'm just going to flat out die if I try to tame this Tuso. Apparently, according to the wiki, it needs to do a 180 degree turn before attacking anything in front of it. So it needs to attack me with its tentacles, right? So if I swam at it head on, uh, apparently it might be all right. Just how quickly do these guys, like, turn around, though, is the question. Uh, I don't know. Apparently, the area in which you pass the tame these guys is, like, in a really precarious position as well. Uh, <laughs> oh, do you know what? A lot of me is just saying, just don't. Do you know what? I'm going to listen to myself for once. I'm going to listen to all of the alarm bells ringing in my head right now that are saying don't. And I'm going to not. We'll come back to that guy later in the series. If you guys have any ideas as to how we could easily tame a Tuso, then uh, let me know. But yeah, for now, we're just going to play it nice and safe. We're going to go for our Basilosaur as planned, okay? Oh! Oh, that's, that's good to see, isn't it? There's a freaking alpha in amongst all of these fellas. Um, yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. We're just staying away from all of these guys, to be honest with you. Aha! A Basilosaur. Oh, it's only level 15. Well, do, oh, do you know what the, what the hell is going on? Okay, all of a sudden, there's like 7,000 people behind me. I swear to God, when I came down here just a second ago, there was no one here. You sons of guns, man. Stupid friggin' eels. The good news is with the eels is I can still attack them even when I'm being electrocuted. I do believe it's the Nadaria jellyfish dudes that uh, kind of put you in a bit of a pickle. If this isn't one of those tiny little underwater cave pocket things, I don't know what is. Ha <laughs> ha Yeah! Hello, hello! Well now, this is interesting, isn't it? Let's take off our helmet here. Oh, I've been in one of these places before and I always say the same thing. It could be a really, really excellent location for a nice hidden base. If you want like an official ARC server or something like that. Oh yeah, these things are good. You get a lot of good resources in here. You got oil nodes, you got crystal nodes. Uh, you saw there we got some uh, silica pearl nodes as well. In fact, I think the only thing it doesn't have is actually, <laughs> what, metal? I mean, unless there's metal around the back here. Doesn't seem to look like it. I'm rather expecting there to be an explorer note, though. 
Come on, you can't have one of these little underwater, like, little cave things and not have an explorer note. Oh, no, there it is. I done found it. Hey there, buddy. How's it hanging? We've got a Dilophosaur dossier. Wow. A slightly strange place to find a dossier of a creature of that nature. A very, very easy creature. Uh, anyways, guys, check it out. We've got ourselves literally thousands of silica pearls now. <laughs> Alpha Mosasaur? Um, I can't say I've ever come across one of those before. Nor do I think I want to know what it's capable of. <laughs> that might be one of the only alpha types that I've actually never come across before in Ark Survival Evolved. Uh, that scares me. It does. It scares me. It could be an absolute freaking cakewalk to take down. It could also be an absolute nightmare and I just die and lose all my stuff. You cannot be serious, right? That's a second two so. It's level 25. Okay, right. Uh, I think I'm okay in avoiding that guy. Ah, okay. So, I mean, I should have figured this out in the first place, but without the helmet, as you can see here, our visibility is pretty limited, right? But you put the helmet on and you are able to see way, way better. So I guess at that point, you have yourself a bit of a decision to make, don't you? You can either have increased visibility in the water and therefore be able to see the threats that are coming towards you, or you can opt for a higher armor value and just have whatever normal armor set that you would have on, right? So, yeah. Oh, hello, 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 hello. Uh, come on, be a good level. 35! Oh, this game is really taking the biscuit, isn't it? I really wish I had a use for this increased XP yield, but unfortunately, we are max level. 106. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> Just seems a bit of a waste going for Explorer notes now that I think about it. I really shouldn't have gotten that one before, huh? Uh, oh, hello, hello, hello. Go on, be a good one. Uh, Basilosaur level 35, for God's sake, man, what is up with this game? I wonder if I could get raw prime meat from this guy. Boom. Yeah! Alright, very cool. That should hopefully assist our ability. Oh, yeah, look at that. Right, we don't have a lot of spoil time on this guy. Okay, it brings it up to about 36 minutes. Okay, right. I'm going to put all of the prime meat on that guy. Okay, good oh. Me versus three sharks, is it? Well, one's already dead. Two's already dead and three's already dead. Well, why don't you go and suck on that, you stupid little sharkies? Oh, there's another one who's there. Come on, then. You want to go? 295 damage versus 11. Not worth it, mate. Not even worth it, mate. Uh, right, prime. I need to transfer the prime over to me. Then I can drop it like it's hot. Transfer the prime back over. Boom. All is well. Oh, God. My scuba tank is dead. Uh, right, 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 right. Ooh. I don't have none of that nonsense. No, no, no. No, 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 Ark. Right, come on. Right, I think what I need to do, my friends, is I need to disable the uh, harvesting, don't I? There you go. Get out of here, son. Interestingly, there is a Basilosaur with no one around it. Oh, wait, no. It's got one person around it. Oh, snap. Okay, interesting stuff. All right, let's have a look and see uh, what level it is. It's level 130. Yes, baby. That, my friends, is way the heck more like it. Now then, if we could just tame it, that would be lovely. You know what else would be lovely is if I was able to go ahead and uh, shoot from the back of my dude here. Doesn't seem to be the case, sadly. Anyways, yep, there you have it. Oh, sweet, good lord. Okay, and I still haven't gone ahead and uh, taken the freaking stuffs out. Oh, uh, I need to turn off freaking harvesting. Oh, okay, right. Fish meat. Do we have regular meat in here? Nope. Okay. Oh, for God's sake. Can I please just... I need a second, okay? I need a second to think. All right. Back to it, my friends. We are not dilly-dallying. I have no idea how long this is going to take, but what I think might be a good idea is if I have Melvin on follow. I'm doing 300 damage to this guy. <laughs> Uh, you see, the thing is, I know that there's going to be a bunch of Megalodon tooths around here. So I should uh, probably go ahead and capture them because I'm going to be needing them for the uh, higher end bosses, yes? And in one of them, there was actually a slightly different recipe that I don't think I've seen before. Kaelin's soup or Kaelian soup. Uh, refreshes your body like an oasis. Helps keep you hydrated and feel cool. Huh. 
I honestly don't think I've ever heard of Kalian soup before. Uh, right, anyways, uh, back to it, my friends. Back to it. It is time to get back to our Basilo sword. This is the guy, is it not? Boom! Oh! These are a passive team? Oh my god, you guys are absolutely going to be roasting me in the comments area. I had no idea. I had no idea that those guys are passive tames. Oh my god. The stupid thing is, I've actually gone ahead and tamed these guys before, and I still forget. Right. Boom. Wow. All right. Well, I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and keep one prime fish meat on me at all times. Yes. And then, yeah, we should be able to get this guy tamed in just a few more bits of meat. Uh, wait until it's hungry again. Oh, man. I hope it doesn't take too long because, yeah, I need this guy to be tamed. Ah, oh, it's kind of annoying that it's just under 25% because that means it needs four more bits of meat. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to tame this guy before I run out of the prime fish meat. Oh, sugar! No! No! No, 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 please, please, please! Attack! Attack, Sharky! Attack! Please! 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 No! No! They came out of nowhere! You just know, don't you? You just know. As soon as you see a Nadaria anywhere near you, you're dead. You're not you're not surviving it. You're just flat out not surviving it. Ugh! No! No! That means my shark is about to die as well. God, I hate this game sometimes! Interestingly, I haven't seen a death message for Melvin just yet, but I honestly think it's only going to be a matter of time before we do. I'm annoyed. I, I am quite annoyed. Those guys literally came out of nowhere. I could not see them in any surrounding areas around me. It's possible, I guess, that they could have just spawned around me and just decided, Oh, hey, let's go and ruin this guy's day. But I just don't know, my friends. I don't know. All we could do is try and get ourselves over there. Whether we manage to get our stuff back is something we'll have to find out, isn't it? I can't get this guy to follow me. It's impossible. He's just going to die, isn't he? I hate jellyfish. I hate jellyfish. I can't get them. I can't get I can't kill them either. Once they are caught by the jellyfish, that is it. You cannot get them free. It is impossible, and I'm now going to die via a shark. Fantastic. Just brilliant. What a great episode this has been. Yep, there we are. My otter's dead. And any second now, I'm going to be dead. Yep, and... Yep. Just brilliant. Just absolutely brilliant. Okay! I am done! Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.